Hello, ladies and gents. Welcome to Montana. Welcome back to the maturity series. We're gonna try to get it done out here in Montana with Jared's brother, Keith. He was kind enough to come out and try to help me get it done. Keith actually has a tag as well, so we're uh, we're pretty excited to get out there. We're, we've actually slept in a little bit. It was a long drive yesterday, especially for myself. And so, <laughs> we're a little late, but we're gonna get after, we're gonna try to go get a big buck down, and hopefully, we can have this gentleman back here get a buck, and myself get a buck, and maybe uh, this year you and I can double down. It's kinda like what Jared did last year. So, that's that's the game plan. That's, fingers crossed, let's hope it happens that way. But we're heading out right now, and we'll see you guys when we get out there. in here we were a little bit later than we originally planned but it's all good it worked out in our favor uh, we got up almost to where we want to be but I glassed down to our south and we got a buck it would be my biggest buck and he's a decent four point probably like a 140s class four point and uh, he just went behind this cut kind of wait to see if he comes out on top and then make a game plan but I think it might be smart to go after him. Yeah, I think we might go after him. I don't know. I'm, it, it's day one and I have like two weeks if I really wanted to <laughs> to stay out here. So just taking it easy for right now but if he gives us a better opportunity and comes out on top he, he might have to get the bullet, but we shall see. guys just killed my biggest buck to date and I just accomplished a goal 
I accomplished the maturity series goal and I got a mature mule deer. I'm sorry it wasn't the best filming, uh, but he said it. When the deer's wounded like that, screw everything else, you gotta go get it done because that's your, you know, that's what you're required to do being a sportsman. <laughs> We're gonna go down. We're gonna go uh, see this buck that I shot and Keith and I have already actually seen it because we just bailed and left everything and I, I'm pleasantly surprised. Let's just say it currently. So let's go down and let's go check it out. It's like different than anything else you have. <laughs> Buck's just right up over there. Look at this stuff, guys. Look at this country. So cool. Sorry, it's windy, guys, but we were over there shooting across at him up here. He ran down. We bailed off there down through the bottom, came through up here, sat right here, and he is dead right over there. Kind of crazy walking over to him right now, just knowing that I accomplished a goal and just tagged out on my biggest buck. And I am super excited. Oh, we're walking up on him right now. He is beautiful, Clark. Oh, let me turn this around for you guys and we can enjoy this together. There he is, guys. There he is. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Look at that, he's a stud. We were kind of just guessing, ah, should we go after him? It's first day, and I made the decision, you know what, that's my biggest buck. Let's go get him, and he did not disappoint. <laughs> I was so excited walking up on him. He grew on me. He is bad to the bone. Check this out. Look at that base. He's so cool. So knobby. Just an awesome buck. Look at all that stuff going on. He's so cool. I love it. Mature buck, accomplish the goal. He's money. He's got a nice little belly on him. Look at that back view. He's sweet. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Oh. Yes, and I love the coloration of his antlers. He has nothing to rub on out here really, so they're really white and light right there. Just darker up top, white. And guys, check this out. First double throat patch buck I've ever shot. That is awesome. He has a beautiful cape to him. He is so bad. Keith's over here getting some grub. What you got? Some tuna fish? Yep. No on the run. Nice. That's why he didn't really go very far is because Wes shot like a dumbass. I feel stupid. But at least I got him to where he couldn't run very much and we, we got it done. And I'm just very thankful. Very, very thankful. And I just need to do a better job at calming my nerves and obviously do some more shooting. And I thought I did enough practice, apparently not. Got a little excited. But we got him.
I'm just sitting here, just taking it all in right now. Just keep on looking at him, just like, that's my biggest buck. That's so cool. And I accomplished a goal. Maturity series, check. <laughs> I'm so, oh, I'm so happy right now. I'm so thrilled. And I love when they grow on you. And he definitely grew. I'm, I'm ecstatic, but I need to get over there. Keith is already getting after it, and I need to go cape him out. I think I'm going to mount him. Yeah, I think I'm going to mount him just because he's so cool on his faces. I love him. But I got some work to do. Check that out, guys. There's Bullet right there. Interesting. You don't find them like that very often. That's cool. And then look at Keith's handiwork right there. That's beautiful. You should be a butcher. I don't know about that. <laughs> That's pretty good. up. Keith has half the deer and I have too much. <laughs> too much extra stuff. That's a heavy pack but I'm excited to get this buck out of there. Get him on some ice on the canyon cooler. Yes it's gonna be nice but if we get you a buck this is gonna be interesting. Yeah, we're not that far in here so. Well I mean we're like 15 20 miles. <laughs> Yeah, just a, what would you say, a mile and a half? Yeah, that's probably Yeah. Maybe two. Maybe. Well, I gotta put this on and get up there. Die. Just got up to the top. Get up to a nice glassing spot for Keith. Still on this guy. Glassing for Keith's buck. Join us in jerky. Some cattleman cut. That pack is heavy. It's heavy. Capers. I didn't realize how heavy the cape was. Unless I'm just a wuss, which I am, but the cape is heavy. That head on there, too. I've never had to haul out a cape. Always just cut the head off and call it good, not worried about a cape. But I'm, I'm excited. And if we can get Keith a buck too, <laughs> that would be sweet. Double down two years in a row, once with Jared and once with Keith, possibly tonight. That would be incredible. So far we have a little small buck and a doe bedded right below us, a little small three. And we had a coyote across the way. There's a coyote bedded just down from the deer. And I guess there's a coyote bedded just down from the deer. So he's going to get some phone scope footage of this. Because I don't want to get out my scope right now. It's tucked away.
Welcome back to the Elephant Graveyard. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I had a blast out in Montana and we actually have one more video to show you the very next day what happened with Mr. Schiller. He came out there and uh, you're just going to have to wait for the video. But I have to hurry and thank some people for going over to risingshed.com and showing their support and getting some swag. So for starters, we have Carson Young, Greg Nilsson, Jordan Edwards. Thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate it. And I'm going to struggle with this last name, so I apologize. But Kim Kempinski. Sorry if I murdered that. Sean Glade, my boy. Thank you, Sean. Greatly appreciated, my man. Malcolm Vigil. Cody Donesto. Or Donetso. Sorry, Cody. Uh, Brandel Kalana. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it, Brandel. And Wayne Rushton. Thank you so very much, guys, for going over and showing your support. It's it's greatly appreciated. You guys keep me going. You keep the fuel in my tank, food in my belly. And it's just awesome to see you guys repping Rising Shed. And I've had quite a few people send me over some pictures with them repping it and their uh, tagged out photos and stuff. And I love seeing that. I love just seeing the brand get out there. And uh, I actually have some antlers to repair and I'm going to be showing you the final outcome of a sweet set that I got from Wyatt out in Nevada. So if you guys didn't know, yes, I do repair and color antlers. So that video should be coming out and also be on the lookout for Brian Schiller's Montana buck that he got. That'll be coming out as well. So thank you guys for following along. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We have some awesome adventures in store in the next little bit. I actually head to Oklahoma tomorrow. Yes, with a disabled outdoorsman and those guys. And I know it's going to be a riot. I'm, I'm super excited. So wish me luck out there in Oklahoma. Just thank you guys for everything. We'll see you on the next one.